this video is going to cover the multiplication rule, otherwise known as the given rule. Like, what's the probability of A given B? And we're going to go over the formula, but and we're going to quickly cover why the formula is true. So, for example, the rule is, and I prefer it written in the second version down here, that the probability of B given A, so that line is like given, so A's already happened, is the probability of B and A divided by the probability of A. Just quickly, why is that true? If you think about it, given A means A's already happened. That means we're trapped inside of A's bubble. So we know the future. We know it's given that A has happened. So A has definitely happened. So the question's asking, what's the probability of B now that we know that A has happened, given A, basically? Well, the only way you can get B if we're trapped inside of A's bubble, if we know we're definitely inside of A, if A is definitely going to happen, the only way to get B would be this section here. That's the only place which is inside A for sure, but it's still B. So it makes sense that the way to work it out is it's just the intersection, which is what we want, it's the only way to get B, divided by the total bubble. So it's the intersection of B and A divided by the total of A. Just quickly, that's the explanation of, of why it's true. One mistake I see a lot of students make is getting this bottom line wrong. It's the second letter, it's the one after the line that goes on the bottom. Everyone remembers to do A and B and B and A on the top, but some people get the, the bottom line wrong. So it's the probability of the second letter that goes down here. If you times both sides by the probability of A, you get the multiplication rule up here. So it's the same thing really, but I think this is easier to use. Okay, let's answer a question now that we know that. C and D are two events such that the probability of C is 0.2 and the probability of D is 0.6. The probability of C given D is 0.3. Let's put that into the formula. In fact, let's even do it without even looking. So try and avert your eyes from the formula. Just try and remember. So the probability of C given D which in this question is 0.3 is, remember, it's the overlap. So in this uh, question, we don't know what that is. So let's just write the probability of C and D because that's the only way you can get um, C if we're trapped inside of D's bubble. It's the overlap divided by the second letter, so the probability of D. And in this question, the probability of D is 0.6. So we remembered the probability of D given C, which is what we're about to work out, we can find that out if we know this formula. So what we did is we wrote, we saw that they said the probability of C given D is 0.3. And what is that? That's the overlap divided by the second letter. And the second letter was D, so we put the D down here. So that's what we did. Let's work that out. Well, simply times both sides by 0.6, and what you get is 0.18 equals the overlap, the probability of C and D. Just quickly, why we times it is because that line means divide, so divide by 0.6, the way to get rid of divide by 0.6 is times both sides. So that means the overlap, this bit in the middle, is 0.18. With that information, because with probabilities we love to start in the middle, we should be able to solve the rest of it. If the probability of C is 0.2, that means that this whole bubble adds up to 0.2. So this section, if we've already used up 0.18, must be 0.02, because these two add up to 0.20, essentially 0.2. Same trick. If D, if the whole bubble adds up to 0.6, or in other words 0.60, this bit must be 0.42 because 0.42 plus 0.18 is 0.60 and now if we're going to be really fancy we can see what we've got in total so far so 0.42 plus 0.18 plus 0.02 that's 0.62 that means because the whole thing adds up to 1 if we've got 0.62 so far we've got 0.38 left over now we should be able to answer all the rest of the questions quite quickly the probability of D given C. 
Now you might want to pause the video, try to work that out yourself and then come back and see how I do it. So I reckon for A the probability of D given C is going to be the probability of the overlap which is D and C divided by which one? It's going to be divided by the second letter. Always remember it's divided by the second letter so that's going to be divided by the probability of C. Okay, let's work it out. So that's the, the overlap we know is 0.18 and we know the probability of C overall is 0.20. Notice it's not 0.02, that's only C. But this is the whole C bubble is 0.2. It tells you in the question as well. If you work that out, I believe that would be 0.9. Okay, that's part A done. Apologies for my rough working out, I'm just doing this um, right now. Okay, probability of not C and not D. Remember when it's an N, it's very strict, so it has to be both not C and not D. The only place on this diagram which is not inside the C bubble and is not inside the D bubble is outside. So that would be 0.38, we've worked that out already, 0.38. Finally, the probability of not C and D. Where on this Venn diagram, you might want to try and think of it yourself, is not C and is D. The only place I can see which is not C and D is here. Because it's definitely D and it's definitely not C. Remember the N is strict. So in this question, that would be 0.42.